Pride Raiser is a coalition of independent soccer supporters that raise money for local LGBTQ plus charities every June. Support your local club. Support your local cause. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship. <coughs> Does my voice sound funny? Does my voice sound funny? <laughs> the first hate week of the season is in the books, and I'd say it was a success. We saw Tulsa attempt a meme for the first time, which was just adorable. And we enjoyed watching the comments section of a post that responded to our video turn into a salt mine of hatred and bickering, which I have to say almost brought a tear to my eye. Because after all, isn't that what hate week season is all about? Telling each other to fuck off on social media? We'll get back to Tulsa soon enough, but now it's time to finally dive a little deeper into the Eastern Conference and hate on a club we played a few weeks back, which resulted in a nil-nil draw. So maybe a little hate week magic is needed to appease the soccer gods. So Bust out your barbecue sauce and acoustic guitars as we travel a few states over and make fun of a club that lives in a van down by the river. It's time for more hate week. <laughs> Welcome to Memphis, the city that is world-renowned for that time Bob Holly and Al Snow beat the crap out of each other down by the river. I think they have a music scene too, I'm not sure, but they do have pro soccer. Their soccer club was founded January 8, 2018, owned by a bunch of dudes that clearly have more money than I. Branded Memphis 901 FC, they unveiled this logo. And I have to say the badge is okay. I like the spinning record, the bright neon colors suit the city well, and the little M crown on top is nice and reminds me of their old hockey team, the Memphis River Kings. But there is something familiar about this logo. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, now I see. Bad wiring. Yep, you see this all the time in Tulsa. Whoa! You guys need to get that fixed. Anyways, the club plays home matches at AutoZone Park. Oh god, it's a baseball field. Now we get to play the fun game of which way to orient the field. Do 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 do. Yeah, good enough, whatever. Clearly, Memphis is the Tulsa of Tennessee, which me saying that is actually a big slap in the face if you're from Memphis. But if Memphis supporters are anything like Tulsa supporters, you probably didn't understand the comment and went back to coloring. As for those Memphis supporters, they're called Bluff City Mafia, and I assume most of them have nothing to do with organized crime, and is more akin to the Bills Mafia. That is also a slap in the face. If any other Memphis supporter groups exist, I'm sure you will let us all know in the comments section. Memphis 901 first competed in the 2019 season. Coached by Tim McQueen, the club was slow getting out of the gate, picking up only one win in their first 10 matches. 901 would slowly figure it out as the season progressed. However, this forward progression would not lead them to the postseason, nor would it lead the club to any points versus their in-state rival, Nashville SC, who respond in MLS the next season, denying Memphis the chance for regular season revenge. At best, Memphis gets to be the underdog in a preseason or U.S. Open Cup match. Good luck with that crap. The following 2020 season, things got better. No, I'm joking, they got worse. Because of course, why not? It's 2020. Memphis 901 had Tim Howard as their sporting director and keeper for six games. Tim McQueen led Memphis until being relieved of his duties in September, and assistant coach Ben Perman stepped in to fill the spot. At the season's end, 901 picked up a few wins, but the playoffs would still escape the club, remaining postseason virgins. Now the 2021 season is in full swing, and both OKC and Memphis seem to be works in progress. Energy FC has recently departed with coach John Pascarella after a winless start, with coach Leigh Viedman taking his place as interim. As for Memphis 901, it hasn't taken the club as long to find three points, but so far has done little to impress or make anyone think this season will be any different. This Saturday, the energy travel to Memphis to take on an area code and hopefully can find a win. Memphis, on the other hand, needs to find an electrician and maybe start coloring within the lines. Anyways, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.